Welcome back to Gamescom Studio, powered by IGN. The Brazilian gaming scene continues to grow and evolve, producing exciting and unique games. And with the formation of the Brazil Games Export Program, it's only getting bigger and better. Here to tell me all about it is Rodrigo Terra, president of Abra Games. Welcome to the IGN Studio. Thank you, and thank you for inviting me here. So I think we're going to take a look at some very cool uh, games out of the Brazilian gaming scene in just a moment. But, for, but first, tell us about the Brazil Games Export Program. So the export program, it's been out for 10 years now. Uh, the, it, the mission of the export program is to bring Brazilian studios to the international audience. Mm -hmm. Even events like Gamescom, which has a B2B component, very important, and obviously a consumer uh, aspect of, of the event as well, to uh, studios to see uh, the international uh, audience, to showcase their, their, their games, and obviously doing uh, a business. So, We've been doing that for all, in all major uh, events in the world, so you can see Gamescom and, and, uh, and other ones in Asia and, and throughout the world. Uh, and obviously we, we want uh, to get back to Brazil because we have the, the big festival, which is international festival as well. Mm -hmm. And then the export program supports also the studios to be there and to showcase to uh, audience, uh, an international audience there as well. Mm -hmm. So it's mainly focused on bringing uh, the best uh, games, the best projects, and the best companies uh, uh, to uh, be face to face with a publisher or an investor or, of a, uh, or any other kind of opportunity they can have here in the international market. Can you give us a sense of, of the size of the Brazilian gaming uh, community? For instance, Aver Games is a, an association of Brazilian game developers. Yeah. Do you have like an idea of how many members there are or how many development studios there are? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Aver Games members, we are 170 ish now. Uh, the whole Brazil has more than a thousand studios. Oh, wow. So throughout Brazil, across the whole country, uh, and then we represent like 10, 12 percent of it, and we have um, a network of 17 local entities mm. uh, which are connected with Abergames Games, and then covers the, the other 90 of the uh, percent of, of of the developers. Here at Gamescom this year, we have uh, 50 companies wow. uh, that come that came with us with the export program, and 10 other companies for uh, incubator accelerators programs in the state of Sao Paulo, state of Sao Paulo, and city of Sao Paulo as well. So we brought, we came together this year again, uh, but now with more and more companies than than ever. We, we, uh, that we ever done wow. in our life. So it's the largest delegation ever. Very cool. Let's take a look at some games. Uh, yeah. One of them that was really cool to me is Chess Arama. Chess Arama. Sort of like a, uh, a, a, a twist on chess. It's not, just, it's not just classic chess, right? Exactly. Tell us about this game. Uh, yeah, so um, the studio itself, so Chess Arama is, is, is one of these takes that we, I usually talk about the Brazilian creativity uh, in, in the Brazilian studio. So Chess Arama, um, and obviously, uh, the studio itself behind it, they, they trying to uh, ma create a mashup of genres, right? In terms of how uh, they can um, create a more fun game and, and recreate the experience of, of the chairs, uh, of the chair uh, chess boards, right? Um, and you have you're, you're seeing so uh, different themes like to chess with soccer, chess with uh, princes, not chess in the medieval uh, ages. So. Um, that, that's how I feel that the take of a Brazilian studio, you know, to have like a signature, we always have a twist in terms of genre. We don't yeah. exactly replicate something that was out there or it's a trend, just a trend, uh, but they obviously, uh, I mean, that's why I love uh, to work down there because people are getting out the craziest ideas ever and make them quality games. So that they make them polished, make them, uh, very uh, interesting to play, so I, I'm waiting to play the, the, the next build of it. So. Yeah, this looks this looks really fun and clever. I want to play that game. That's yeah, coming out is it this year. Uh, I think so. Okay, yeah. I hope so. Uh, the next one is the Light of Darkness. Yeah. What do we need to know about this game? Uh, well, it's a side scroller, uh, 2.5D, uh, very well poly, very well uh, visually. Oh yeah. Uh, um, Incredible one, and it's a mix. So, so you are a hybrid uh, being between an angel and a demon. Uh, and uh, the, the, the thing of Light of Darkness, I think, it's um, it's they trying to uh, uh, bring a new uh, uh, again a new take on on what is the uh, not just the side scrolling, but the, the theme of 
been. So it was, uh, I'm, I'm watching. We've got to have watch that one. So that, that, that's really, that, that's a, 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 a new version of it that I haven't saw that. Wow. So they're trying to to make that uh, a very challenging uh, side scroller. It's not super easy uh, exactly for to play. Um, but yeah, so and they in, invested on the graphics. So you, what we're going to see in that is will be a beautiful 2.D uh, side scroller with that uh, take on mythological uh, beings and etc. Uh, and you play it as a hybrid being that sounds and looks really fun to. Yeah. To. Is this a Metroidvania? Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, you're speaking my language. All the, these are my kind of games. <laughs> uh, the last we're going to take a look at is Tower of Samsara 2. The original yeah. the original's already out. Yeah. This is um, a, uh, well, the original is like a Souls-like puzzle platformer. Yeah. Is that what this one is as well? Yeah. Uh, so Tower of Samsara is the, the second installment of, of, of Elix Studio. It's a studio from um, uh, the countryside in Sao Paulo. Uh, and in this game, actually, they they tried to, uh, uh, to to continue the story of the, of the first game, right? Yeah. Uh, and they now and they, they and then, uh, the fun story about this um, t Tower of Samsara they're now it's a kind of franchise, right? Mm -hmm. So they're trying to create a, a kind of new template of game. So you can create a very uh, Souls-like esque uh, side-scrolling uh, in, in pixel art yeah. uh, for uh, for many many. Uh, instruments of it so they, they, they try to create like a basis of the gameplay in a way they can replicate and then this well this the second one and they are amazing art as well so yeah. I love their the, the pixel art that they do Alex that they sort of great obviously all, all of our members is stood at all of the delegation we bring only the best what what has been doing in Brazil and my my to my joy many 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 students now are, are, are reaching there there so but there's this just three examples. Sure. We have uh, more than 100 games here being shown this year uh, during Gamescon. Uh, I mean, to publishers, the studios brought the, the, the prototypes and the games itself. So the scene now in Brazil is really, really uh, strong. So and, and I can say it's equally uh, comparable to any other place in the world. Well, I mean, if these three games are any representation, you know, I want to play all three of these games. Yeah, so. me too. Me too. And I love the I, well, Towers and Sarah, it's yeah. my favorite. So. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming by the Agent stage and thank sharing you. Which, uh, all the cool stuff that the Brazilian development scene is up to. Thank you so much. All right. It is awesome and inspiring to see the Brazilian gaming scene continue to grow. We've got tons more video game coverage ahead right here on Gamescom Studio. So stick around.